Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome back to SOC Outdoors. It's been a while since I've just hoofed it with my backpack and a extendable pole. I got a couple hours before work, maybe an hour of good fishing. Hopefully I can get on something. I just gotta clear my head. I've really started to enjoy these coming out here with a pole and just throw it in the water. So it's been a couple weeks since I've been able to. I've been busy, I've been busy on weekends, so I've been jamming working during the week. And for my mental health, my peace of mind, I gotta get out here. So I'm glad I could get out today and do a little bit of casting around. Hopefully I'll get on something, be able to make a video out of it. Just gonna sit here, enjoy. It's not hot, it's a wonderful day. It's probably upper 60s, 70 right now. So I'm not sitting here sweating like it's been. It's a great break, a little overcast. I'm gonna throw a top water cause it's so calm and rip it out, try to get a big monster off the bottom. If not, then I'll throw a jig or something and get on something. Gonna throw on the old prop frog. It uh, right on the bottom. Might be able to get on a nice explosion. It's kind of early in the morning. It's not the earliest, but all right. Without further ado, I'm gonna get in here and rip one to the corner. Got a tree branch down. Too bad it didn't go in the water. I've done that a few times with this. The prop frog all twisted up on itself. When you try to skip it, sometimes it really tangled up. Man, I just can't get it over in the corner. Casting like an idiot. All right, so I'm gonna top water fish my way to the corner and then I'll jig fish my way back with like a definitely gonna start off top water because it's so clear. I don't see a lot of top water bites, it's about nine. Yeah, 9.03. Gotta be a pike or something right there. And I don't like how this is acting up. Just saw a bunch of bait fish jumping around right about where my lure's at. So there's something down there probably busting them up. Kinda wish I had a bait caster with me. Whoa, almost fell in. Okay, that's a cool little action. I'm gonna do that. Never caught a fish on the prop frog. Haven't had it very long. So I'm kind of just toying with some motions for it. Makes a ton of noise. Man, it screws up a lot. It's hooked on this back hook a bunch. I don't know if it's. Something I can tweak, yeah. When it hits the water hard, the leg hooks around the hook, the trailing hook. It's, uh, I don't know, I'm learning. Never been much for top water except poppers and flies and stuff. Try it right here. I'm gonna stay away from the rocks a little bit. See if something comes after it. Try to catch something before it sees me. I'm gonna fish it out first before I walk down there. Get 
my leg workout on these rocks with my heavy backpack on. Got all my work stuff, a bunch of camera stuff that I don't normally bring when I do these. It was just in my bag. I got everything I'd need for a podcast. Make sure to look over at the SIC podcast. I do have older episodes on here. I upload them first to Spotify. And then after they've been on there for a while, I throw them on YouTube. I will have links in the description. Head over to Spotify. Watch the SIC podcast. Catch a little of Scoot's Inner Chaos. Kind of trying to separate it from the SOC. That way anybody who really wants to sit and focus about the inner stuff can watch that where we focus more on that and then here fishing we'll focus more on the fishing and hunting and camping and whatnot and uh, also I uh, only about 30% of the people watching the videos are subscribed so if you're not already subscribed I want to take this opportunity to remind you to hit subscribe hit that notification bell it uh that's really going to help us out we're we're growing we're getting there pretty fast and uh once I get up and numbers i'm going to start doing a lot more giveaways i'll have a little more freedom to be able to do giveaways give away gear give away apparel things like that so if you're not already hit that subscribe button it'll really help us out and uh we'll keep on going and keep making better content and start doing some giveaways and whatnot as soon as we can and if you haven't already Head on over to the SOC Outdoors website. There will be a link in the description. Get yourself some apparel. And while we're having the conversation about shameless self-promo, leave some comments. Let me know what you'd like to see, what you'd like to see on the website as far as apparel, yada, yada, yada. I think I'm gonna hit this corner and then uh, then I'm gonna head out to the entrance of the marina. Then I'm gonna switch it up. I haven't had anything pop on the top water, so I'm gonna switch it up, hit a jig, do some kind of natural color. I mean it's overcast, a little bit murky, it's windy, I don't I don't really know what to throw. But, oh, I got a, like a trout box with me full of jigs and got a Ziploc of plastics. We'll give her a shot. I'll just start tinkering around. Got at least another hour shore fishing. I find it hard to steer away from the jig. It just tends to be my go-to. I think it comes from, I was always too cheap to buy you know, plastic crankbaits, you know, a spinner would, you know, when I started fishing, a spinner was a real treat for me. I grew up, you know, perch fishing where a perch rig was 50 cents and you could get minnows for a few pop cans, you know? <laughs> so for me, it's always been about grab something cheap, get out there and catch some fish. And now that I'm older and I have a little more cash in my pocket, I can, uh, buy fancier stuff, but I don't have a whole lot of years of experience using it. All right, I'm gonna go to the corner here, and tie up a jig and play around. Oh, a bunch of duckies. Some young ones, only a couple. Man, they're really starting to get some color. Going with the chartreuse head, quarter in, quarter, quarter inch, quarter ounce. Kind of a green sparkle, the white bottom. Should give it some nice color, some nice action. And probably get a pretty good rip with it. Run it along the bottom. Oh yeah, this thing's got some action, some color. This thing's good in the water. Go out. Use the wind. Clarity seems to be okay. <sighs> kind of undercutting that tree. You need sunglasses. It's gonna clear up. What a nice day. 
I'll be honest, to those of you who have watched a few videos, I don't like it being cold. And I was kind of chilly this morning, so the sun feels good. There we go, that's better. Now I can see. Alrighty, I'm gonna crank back down with the jig. See what I can do. That was the best cast of the day. I'm just gonna fan cast my way back. See, I can even cast jigs better because I have so much experience casting quarter, three eighths, and half ounce jigs. Man, this looks good. I don't know about that chartreuse head. I might switch it up, put like a white or a black jig head on. I just don't know if there's fish in here. They might be out because the water temp's so high. Might be down in the channel in the river. Hey, you think I'd be passing through cats though. I'm fan casting, going through a whole section. You think it'd be catfish resting on these rocks. Ooh. Ho. Thought I had one. Freaking got to the rocks quicker than I thought. not falling pretty sketchy rock I'm on right now stand on like a knife blade edge could just my luck falling before work all right I kept casting around I didn't hit anything I didn't even get bites but it was a wonderful day to clear my head so I'm gonna post this video just this is fishing. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. I didn't make a foolproof plan. I didn't have a bunch of stuff. I just grabbed a rod and went to the water. I still feel good even though I didn't catch anything at all, didn't get one single bite. I still feel great. So just a reminder to get out there, do some adventuring for yourself. As I said before, check all the links in the description. Definitely hit subscribe if you haven't because that will help us tremendously. And I'm definitely using everything that I get from these videos to give back and help educate people about you know mental health sobriety and getting outdoors because I think getting outdoors in the right mindset will definitely benefit you if you're struggling with sobriety or anything like that so I want to be able to get to that point to be able to give back start doing more so thanks again for watching be sure to be kind to yourself and if you can be kind to someone else.